What's the word, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Sites, and I'm back again. Again, 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 with another tutorial. And look, today, I'm about to show y'all how we uh, track elements from Element 3D, you know, 3D objects, anything you really want to put into music video in the scene. Once you have your footage in After Effects, we're going to rotoscope our subject out, even if we don't need to. So I'm going to take the time out to do that real quick. So let's say you get this error right here, guys. Let me show you how you beat this. I feel like I need to put this out there. So this, here's how you beat this. You pre-compose this clip and you leave all attributes, right? Once you do that, you come right here, you copy the left. You go into the comp, right? And in the composition, you don't want to move this point because if you move this point, you're going to basically lose where you are in your last composition. So make sure you have to start in. You right, I mean, you double click, go back into the pre comp. You cut. You go back to the to the um to the first composition. Press page down to make sure you at the very last frame. Go back into the pre comp one more time, and then you cut that part right there as well. Delete and delete. The reason why you do not trim this is because it's going to change the um the duration of the actual clip that's in here so you just want to you know in and out which you can just press b and n in my case i'm just going to drag <coughs> and then you're gonna and then you're ready to rotoscope so you can turn up how much footage you got going on right now so, so now I'm gonna, I'll be right back when I'm done with this roller school. All right, so now that you have your rotoscope finished, we just gonna, uh, let's feather this by 22%. Uh, let's shift the edges by 7%. Let's reduce the chatter by 5%. Enable motion blur. Okay, so look, I had a little technical difficulty because I forgot when I did this video, instead of pre-comping it, I rendered it out. But that trick is something that I feel like everybody should, you know, take advantage of. But yeah, moving forward. Once you have that rotoscope, you want to rename that to your uh, subject. Maybe change the color personalize it and we're just going to turn that off for now. next step let's track our scene so come to track and stabilize after right clicking and hit track all right cool so now that you got some track points here it's funny because it looks exactly how it looked like in the all right you want to find somewhere where you see the where you want it where you see points the most so right now i'm looking and i'm looking at this red and this blue point they here the whole time so i'm gonna just connect these with the rest of the points that's gonna pop up so let me just gonna make a big ass circle right and then we're gonna right click and then i'm gonna make a null we're gonna click that null to see if that null stays getting too big let's take another spot make a null right there make sure that null is always visible you know what i'm saying we have it right there so now we can cut this null off right let's make a brand new solid let's apply element 3d and i'm gonna give y'all some settings to use just in uh just in case you know I'm gonna give you guys some cool settings. So you wanna come to your custom layers and you wanna use your overall footage, which is who that on that block, who that on that eye. You wanna use your regular footage and you wanna come down to the render settings, deal with the lighting. This is a dark scene. So I'm gonna go with dark. 
I don't know, depending on how that looks, I'm gonna change it. Enable shadowing, ray trace, ambient occlusion, and put on ray trace, and we're gonna change that to like 0.6. Now, when I scene setup, I'm just gonna go with the same exact model that I used for this video, and let's just grab that leg, OBJ, OBJ. I'm gonna use the normals, press OK. Normalize the size. I'd just leave this like it is. I would just come to environment, <laughs> hit that drop down, use our footage, and press OK. Boom. So now you got that thing up in there. Not too snappy, man. That leg looking real gory. All right, so now let's press OK. Now that boy is in the scene with a camera, and he's ready to be tracked. So what I do is I always uh. I just come here to the track node that we made and I copy these settings right into the the group one layer that's over here, particle replicator. So now he's stepping on that leg, but what I'm gonna do, I want it to be like I want it to be all behind him. So before I add any light to anything, I'm gonna position and add all of the you know the rest of the legs here. So we're gonna move this up, change our uh, particle shape, right? Let's get this out of the way. This is like, yeah. We're gonna make the particle shape into a sphere, and we're gonna have about uh, 12 legs up in that sphere, right? Let's come down to shape scale and we're gonna enlarge in that. X scale, Z scale, Y scale until everything is kind of surrounding your subject. some other stuff come down to particle look you want to change the size of your legs and maybe throw the z position back some oh. Oh. Oh, position. all right Now this is where the cool shit happens. This is where the rotoscope comes in, comes in, you know, comes inside. We take that rotoscope and we just, you know, throw that above there real quick. So now, hold on, I ain't gonna lie, I'm not liking how, uh, I'm not liking how that one looks behind him. So we just probably gonna add like, uh, if you come to the replicator, you probably add, maybe take away 11 of them, John. Boom, now, now that one is gone. And it's like, all right, he's going through a whole little, you know, thing of legs. Okay, so now, Let's turn that uh that top layer off for now. Just so we don't, you know, get no crashes. I don't wanna give you guys any crashes. And we're gonna make a new light. So hit Control, Alt, Shift, and L. A new spotlight. Something cool like that. We're gonna bring it up. Bring it back. Bring it all the way back. If you want, you can come down here to your spotlight layer. Press P. And I think this is going back. Bring that back. So uh, you could come down to the light options and take the intensity down to give it a little more, more realism. Enable motion blur. If you highlight, when you come down to your element layer, which your 3D objects layer, you can turn on motion blur. You'll have a little bit of blur going on there. And, I'm, and if you don't like how this is looking, you could also do things like open up this replicator effects and go to like scatter scatter these in the direction that you feel if you feel the need to i think i'm gonna scatter these maybe by the y and now we could do things like uh, come down to your particle rotation and then you maybe you could just hit like random rotation not your first keyframe you come to your last keyframe you could just bump that up 
like one, one pound. You know what I'm saying? Something like that, you know? A little real cool, you know? Real simple. Not simple, but these are just, you know, fast movie, you know, fast video effects. And I can show you things like, you can even come up to the top. And you can take the, um, the X position. So uh, let's move this all the way to the end, that first keyframe. And then bring this like this. Have it come up and you have it come down. Know what I'm saying? That. I'm going to show you a fast way. And this is just another way of just adding shadows. You don't need any plugins. Really. You just go here, add a drop shadow. So you up the opacity on your drop shadow. You move that distance so you can actually start to see it. And you move the rotation some. You bring it down some more using the distance. Like all the way onto the ground. And you up the softness. Give it a light. I don't even like to have this up too high because it already looks a little too, you know. I got softness up high, but I have that opacity down like a lot because I don't even really want to, you know. Just give y'all a little bit of feeling of what's going on around it. So now, you can also do things like add real smart motion blur. Um, if you want to move your camera, I don't think you can, but there's an easy way that I do it. You can grab an adjustment layer, and you can add the transform effect. And when you do that, you uh, you put a stopwatch at your position and you're scaling up here, and you just zoom into your subject. got flow you could just come up here and use this or if you know how to use the, the waveform the grapher good you know what I'm saying so another thing you can do to add some realism to the objects in the back if you add maybe a fast box blur you can kind of match the that's going on in the actual background. That's what I'm saying. Hey, that's how I did that. Yeah, if you enjoyed this tutorial, um, drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe, you feel what I'm saying? And yeah, I'm gonna be back with another one real soon. Peace out.